Hi all, this is Maylene Velasquez. I'm a licensed clinical social worker and a registered play therapist. And today I wanted to bring you an expanded version or a video of the squiggle story. When I created the first video, I had a lot of people ask me how to create a story specifically to the squiggle story. The squiggle story is an intervention for children, usually four and up, where you have the client create a squiggle on a piece of paper and different squiggles and then you have them cut out the piece of paper and tell you a story. You in turn do the same. So I'm going to share with you the different steps. The first thing that you're going to need for this activity is a piece of paper. Once you have the piece of paper you're going to have the child fold the paper in half then fold it one more time so now you have this little paper with two folds and then one more time so now you have this tiny little fold and what you're gonna do with this tiny little fold is that now you're gonna open the paper up and you're gonna have the client draw different squiggles in each line so a squiggle is basically a silly line right it's like almost like a doodle line um, that you draw on each side so I'm gonna go ahead and draw the lines and then I'm gonna show you the results and so I have here my squiggles. I'm gonna bring them a little closer so that you can see them. And you can see that um, some of them might be a little bit um, more complex than the others. However your client does the squiggle, um, it's fine and it'll work. So now what you have the client do is that you have them cut the different pieces of paper and arrange them in front of them um, in a different order. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut them and show you what that looks like. And so I now cut my squiggles and I have all these tiny little pieces of paper um, that have a little doodle on them. So what I'm gonna ask the client to do is I'm gonna ask them to arrange it in front of them in a different order. And then I'm gonna ask them to show me each piece and to share with me a story. So I'm gonna go ahead and arrange mine and then I'm gonna show you how I would share a story. And so I can show you this, but I have my squiggles uh, arranged in front of me. So I'm going to show you each of them and share a story. If you're doing this with a child, you would share your story first and then you would have the child share the story. Unless the child wants to share their story first. So this is my first squiggle. And I'm going to say once upon a time, there were two friends that used to really, really enjoy spending time together. Now these friends enjoy laughing and playing and running. So here they are. They're running and jumping in the park. Now one day, all these weird things started happening. They heard things in the news that they didn't understand. They heard their parents worrying. They couldn't go to school and everything felt really messy. And so here's a squiggle with like everything being messy and kind of weird and them not understanding what's happening. And as this was happening, they started to feel like for a little bit of time, they were getting closer and closer to their family. And so this is them getting closer and closer to their family, feeling as one. And as they were getting closer and closer to their family, they started to notice that they could no longer play with their friend. They started to see that they were alone all the time, only with their family members, and that they couldn't play their favorite games with their friend. So this is them alone, feeling lonely. As they started to spend more time alone, they started to feel really frustrated and really angry and really, really bored. And they started to make a big, big mess in their room. So this is them frustrated and angry and making a big, big mess in their room. And so one day their mom said, I noticed that you've been feeling alone and frustrated and angry and bored in your room. I think that maybe we can do some activities as a family. Maybe we can play games or watch TV together or play in the backyard so that you can have a little fun because I also miss playing with you. 
and so they started to feel like they can feel a little hopeful and that things didn't have to be so boring anymore and this is them giving a hug to their mom so this is their mom's body and they're kind of like in there being like cuddled by their mommy and so after that day him and his family used to play all the time at least once a day and they started playing with their friend online so their mom actually helped them to get a video so that they would play in the room with their toys while their friend was playing in their room with their toys and here's a photo of the two playing together and so you see that there's a little hole here and this is where it shows that they're in two different rooms playing together the end and so this is an example of how I would do a squiggle story. So it's just a silly story that you create in the moment that has a beginning, a middle, and an end that has an issue that you're working through. So this was a good example of what we're living with in terms of COVID and the social distancing. And that at the end, there is a resolution and a way to celebrate and have fun. So I hope that this is helpful and useful in conceptualizing how to create a squiggle story and how to do this intervention with the families that you're working with. Thank you so much. If there's anything else that you need to hear, please let me know. Bye.